Would you pay millions of dollars for digital art? <music> NFTs are the talk of the town right now, garnering hype from artists, sellers, buyers, and collectors. Here, we'll shine a light on the mystery behind this high-value cryptocurrency, and you can learn about blockchain, the technology that makes it all possible, by clicking the link above or in the description below. While other cryptocurrencies represent monetary value, NFTs are most commonly used to represent digital works of art, like photos, videos, or audio, including some unconventional art like memes, tweets, and albums. Non-fungible basically means unique. There is only one of its kind. Other cryptocurrencies can be fungible, like Bitcoin, where one Bitcoin can be traded for the exact same thing in return. You might think of fungible cryptocurrencies like dollars, while NFTs are more like one-of-a-kind, limited-edition trading cards. Buying an NFT is like buying original art, even if others can view it elsewhere. Like buying an original Monet, even though there are countless Monet prints sold elsewhere for much, much less. The question of why is a little more complicated with NFTs, though, since a copy of digital art is almost always as good as the original. When people buy NFTs, it's to either support the artist, for bragging rights, or to have the rights associated with owning the art, similar to a musician's masters. While anyone can stream or download the exact same music, only the owner of the masters can use it in a certain commercial or promotional context. <music> NFTs aren't that new. The first NFT was created in 2014, and they garnered mainstream awareness in 2017. The interest in NFTs spiked this year, though, primarily the result of crypto millionaires and billionaires looking to diversify. A number of high-profile NFT sales were made in the first few months of 2021. In February, the musician Grimes sold $6 million worth of tokens of digital art, and the Nian Cat meme animation sold for over $560,000. In March, digital artist Beeple's Every Days, the first 5,000 days, was the first piece to be auctioned at Christie's Auction House, selling for almost $70 million. Also in March, Twitter's founder, Jack Dorsey, sold his first tweet as an NFT for over $2.9 million. What do you think? Are NFTs worth it? Will digital art collections last long? Share your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button.